hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is skytech digital in this video we're going to talk about loop carousel now in our last video we talked about the loop grid where we will be um, able to showcase different posts on a, a page using the loop grid um, widget so what is the difference between the loop grid and then the loop carousel now the loop grid over here um, helps you to display you know items or posts or even um, products in a grid format meaning that um, users or customers or whoever is using your website will be able to scroll through the website in a vertical um, format okay so just like this one over here as you see over here but with a carousel it is different now it's going to be like a slider or kind of like a horizontal scroll okay so um users will be able to um you know see the post in a horizontal um scroll format over here now i'm going to show you how you can be able to use the loop carousel to display um your post or products in elementor or in your website so this is what we are going to do now this is also part of the elementor pro um elementor pro you know widget okay so if you don't have elementor pro you need to have elementor pro to be able to um, follow this tutorial along now also um also if you haven't watched this tutorial you need to go back and then watch it because we're going to use the templates that we created using this tutorial to be able to um create this loop carousel over here we don't want to waste time in creating a new template again we just want to use um, the old template to help us create this loop carousel so what we're going to do is we're going to just drag this loop carousel in this particular um, container over here now like i told you if you don't have elementor pro i'll leave a link in the description over there you can use it to get elementor pro if you want it or you can just go to elementor website and then purchase elementor pro over there now this is the loop carousel over here okay so um as you can see um you have to what create your template so it says what um loop carousel starts with a template so either choose an existing template or create a new one since we have an existing template we will just click over here and then the template name is elementor elementor so we're going to just select that particular template this is the loop and then we select it and then you see that the loop will start populating in our website so this is how it looks like and as you can see you have this um you know um, dot over here you can what you can glance through or you can um, you know scroll through it okay you can even use your mouse to just drag through it okay so that is what that is how the loop also looks like and then automatically also you can set it to what infinite scroll whereby it will definitely scroll by itself okay so that is it so um we have the number number of slides over here number of slides that you want it to what you want it to scroll and then how it would display on each device so on each device how do you want it to display so on the desktop you want three and then you can choose between the tablet and then mobile also over here and then the slice to um a uh, slice on scroll okay so um how many slides do you want it to what want it to scroll you can what you can choose either one two or three or whatever it is and then if you want it to be on equal height you make sure that you what you toggle this but button over here and then also you have the query also over here so with the query the source where you want to uh, to pick your source from is it a post pages or template or even if it is what if it is product it will show over here and then where which one you want to include so the terms and other stuff the data and all those kind of stuff you can include and then also um the sort by and all those things you can also include over here and then let's go to the settings of it now with the settings you can um make it what like i told you an infinite scroll which is what an auto auto play okay it will automatically start playing for you as you can see it is just what's going over there for me or you can decide to um you know turn it off so that it will be the user will be able to scroll it um themselves okay so and then the speed that will scroll you can decide to change it from um 5000 to any speed that you want so let's say i want to make it like a thousand millisec millisecond you're gonna see that it's gonna go fast okay so that is it so as you can see it's going faster okay but I think 5,000 is okay, um, so that what it will, it will be um, readable for whoever wants to 
um, you know just glance through and then if you see over here it says what pause on hover okay so if i hover on it it's supposed to pause for me so that i can be able to read or even click on wherever i want to click and then we also have what pause on interactions so whenever you are interacting with it it will have to pause and then infinite scroll we've talked about it it will scroll infinitely uh, it's not going to what it's not going to stop and then the duration the duration that is going to um you know scroll okay so oh, it's going to stop so um the transition duration that is moving from one slide to another slide okay that is what the transition duration over and then the direction do you want it to be um left go to left or you want it to go to right so if i change it to right it will rather move on to the right side rather um it's not going to be <laughs> on the what on the left side so as you can see even everything has changed over here okay so i'm going to just um choose right and um, left over here so i'm going to choose left over here so let me just click on this one and change it to left and then this it will go back to our normal um you know moving towards our left side so basically that is it now offsets so if there is any offset slides you can either um decide to choose whatever you want so either none you want an offset you don't want an offset you want it to be left or right it depends on what it depends on you okay so let's say we want um the offset to be on the right so this is how it's going to be like okay so as you can see over here you want to have something which is what um showing over here that there is an incoming slide over here okay if you want it to be on the left also you what you see it over there so you're going to see something like this if you want it to be on both also you're gonna what you're gonna see it just like this one okay but i am um, i don't want any of them i just want a clean um thing for me so i'm okay with what with no no offset over here now the navigation also so as you can see you can either show um you know arrows or decide not to show arrows it all depends on what it all depends on you so the icon that you want to show um where the icon the orientation of the icon and everything you what you see it over here and then um you know the next arrow also so this one is what the um the previous arrow this one is what the the um the next arrow okay everything you can what you can you know see it over here okay so basically um that is it now if you want to style it you can go over here and then style your carousel so let's start the um the the navigation since we cannot see let me close this one since we cannot see the icons okay so um, i'm gonna just go ahead and then see the color change the color or even the size so let's start with the size so with the size let's say we're gonna make it like 25 over here and then um with the color let me just make it black and as you can see that is what it is popping over here okay so you can really see it over here so if you want to make it like um you know like maybe the the color this color you can also what, see it over here okay so it depends on what color you want to make it but i think um, i'm gonna make it like the black over here and i think it's okay for me and um and then that is it so you can even give a background color for it you can give it you know um uh, border type or whatever it is you can you know depending on how you want to what you want to give it okay and then also navigation over here you can choose the kind of navigation that you want if i go to style over here i can be able to um, go to the navigation um, let me go to uh, this one is what pagination okay so i can go to the pagination and change it from um, you know fraction progress anyhow uh, so let's say i want to make it with progress okay so i cannot really see um what is going on but i'm sure you'll be able to uh, see it when you style it okay so um, let's look at fraction also over here and see how it looks like all right so fraction is something like this okay fraction is something like this and then the progress um i'm sure as it goes is when you see its progress okay so as you can see the fraction um, also works perfectly well so if i want to just maintain it at the dot it's going to be like this so guys this is how you can be able to um, create a loop carousel 
using elementor loop carousel for your website so if everything is good you just click on publish over here and then you are good to go so if i come over here and i refresh my website over here i'm supposed to see my oh let me let me just go over here i'm supposed to see my what my loop carousel and then my loop grids on the same so this is the loop grid and then if i go down over here i'm going to see my loop carousel over here so as you can see everything is what is working perfectly so if i click over here it's supposed to work it's supposed to um you know work for me so as you can see it is working for me over here if i also click on this one it's supposed to you know go ahead and then work for me now you can use this same um, same idea to create sliders and all those kind of stuff in your website okay so that is basically the loop carousel